poor veterans' living conditions have further deteriorated with their children being turned away from schools for failing to settle school fees. The Ministry of Veterans of the Liberation Struggle Affairs has refused. Speaking in a Parliamentary Portfolio Committee pre-budget consultative meeting, Chief Director in the Ministry of Veterans, Evaristo Ziwema, appealed to the government to consider their set budget. Ziwema refused that there is a need to revamp the ministry's district and provincial offices. Due to late payment of fees, children of four veterans are embarrassed in schools, Ziwema said. It is therefore appropriate that the ministry be capacitated to deal with the increased financial base. Whilst the primary focus will be on district offices, the head office and provincial offices are in need of transport, office equipment and furniture, he added. According to Ziwema, the bulk of the ministry's work entails visiting institutions that provide services like schools and hospitals in the rural areas. All district offices are operating without appropriate vehicles to traverse the road network while the few vehicles at state office and provincial offices are now old and unreliable. There is need for new vehicles to be acquired to improve operational efficiency. In response to the presentations, Committee Chairman of Ministries of Defense, Security Services, Home Affairs and Veterans of Liberation Struggle Affairs, Alban Gulue said, Veterans are living like paupers with most failing to access basic health care. With regards to the issue of school fees, that they are paying very late and they are correctly saying their children are embarrassed. I am very much aware that all veterans in terms of medical care are suffering. I believe it's an area that I am happy you as a ministry are addressing. You should take care of the war veterans. Earlier this year, it was revealed that President Emerson Munangagwa allocated 35 miles to war veterans two years ago as part of capacitating them, but officials tasked with the responsibility to hand over claims have not done so amid allegations of corruption.